when I talk about designing for uncertainty. And the businesses who do that will be in good shape for the future. And those who don't, uh, I worry about. Jobs potentially on the line. It's been losing money. Bankruptcy. Competition. Down 26%. Everything must go. Could not survive. Under pressure of bankruptcy, which helps to focus mind, the Nasdaq lost about 70% of its value. 2000 is good. 2001, not so good. Internet bubble, boom. How do you plan for uncertainty if you don't know what's going around the corner? The first thing to do is to, is to focus on the unknowns. So rather than look at what you already know, think about what are the questions. So it's asking better questions. It's about attracting people who are comfortable with uncertainty in a dynamic environment. There's so many risks in this game, you know, so much that can go wrong. So much just doesn't play out as you imagine. And everyone we had spoken to said, it's impossible. You cannot identify music with 10 or 15 seconds from millions of songs over the microphone of a mobile phone. It cannot be done. How great is Shazam? Shazam is a gift. Yeah, game changer. Game changer. Yeah. We sold them our technology. The idea was always to serve consumers. And people kept saying to us, what about a business-to-business -business service? We actually managed to do a deal with one of the biggest uh, collection agencies. Otherwise, we couldn't keep the lights on. After the iPhone launched and after we uh, managed to raise more funding in 2009, we were able to buy back our patent portfolio, but it was literally like, you know, selling the family jewels just to be able to live to fight one more day. Traditional processes are about, you know, long-term budgets or five-year plans. The uh, agile method of software development, which is much more iterative, which is much more about, let's do a sprint, release software, see where we are, replan and, and go from there. Rather than trying to create long-term plans, which are not based on evidence or reality, to actually build flexibility and adaptability into one's processes. And I call it designing for uncertainty. So embracing this concept that we cannot achieve predictability, even though as human beings we would like to. Embrace the uncertainty. The more stupid the question, the better the insight which will come back, the smarter we'll get quicker. And I think that in 10 or 15 years from now, the companies who have practiced fluidity will be in a much better position to thrive, and those who haven't will be suffering. So not having a traditional sort of hierarchy, but squads and teams who can solve a problem and then move on. So yes, I know it's easier said than done, but that's what I think of when I talk about designing for uncertainty. And the businesses who do that will be in good shape for the future, and those who don't, um, I worry about.